Would you grow your baby in a lab? Tech startup XX Biosystems is banking on it. The company has partnered with Chinese scientists to offer an experimental pregnancy alternative to those willing to pay a price. According to their website, the process is all about convenience and promises to grow a baby externally from a tiny skin sample taken at home. Whether it's career ambitions, unfit partners, or a fear of pregnancy's physical toll, this experimental procedure promises a solution. Could this be the key to women's empowerment? To find out, I decided to follow two women on their unconventional journey to motherhood. I guess you could say that I'm pretty ambitious and there's, there's a lot that I want to achieve in my, my working life. I've always wanted to be a mom, but I just never, I just didn't know how to afford it if I had to like be off work for, let's say, six months. Maybe we can start by talking about how you found out about XX Biosystems. Yeah, it was recommended to me by the benefits administrator at my work. They call it IVG. So with a simple skin uh, biopsy, we can actually uh, produce a human hag from um, a petri dish. Stem cells are isolated from the sample, transformed into sperm and eggs, and transferred to an external womb for nine months. XX Biosystems offers a host of ways to stay connected throughout the process. So every time she kicks, my phone vibrates. You can see how well she's doing insofar as stats and... Yeah, I just know she's being taken care of. The science is still controversial and has faced backlash amidst the CRISPR baby controversy. But of course, uh, there are also uh, examples of clinicians who are willing to take a risk. When Sarah's due date arrived, she kindly asked me along. Okay, do I get to see the delivery now? I'm afraid for privacy purposes, we don't allow our clients into the procedural rooms, but it'll be really quick. She'll be out in just a moment. If you don't mind, you could take a seat just here. Okay, okay. When you want something so badly and you worry it's now or never, it's a lot easier to believe that the product that's being marketed to you is as amazing as it says it is. Yeah, sure, the idea of, of, of a baby coming out of me feels feels terrifying as well, but I mean, I, could, I don't know, maybe I don't want to see it. I don't know, I just... I just thought if I saw the process that maybe all of this would be a bit easier, you know, it, it would make it feel a bit more, a bit more real. Sarah? Yeah. Oh wow, she's okay. Yes. Yeah. Congratulations, <laughs> she's perfect. Thank you. Do yeah. I? There you go. Okay. The growing awareness of the fact that we won't always be fertile does influence the way we make our decisions. When you pair that with women taking on more demanding jobs and inadequate maternity allowance, you've created a market for healthy women who believe that your service is the only solution. To be honest, it's, it's been pretty tough at work. I, I just don't feel like myself. Um, I'm just so tired. Well, the choice means and implies that there are options, doesn't there? And actually, in this case, it felt like there was really only one option. What had at first seemed like an empowering solution left me questioning whether it was our biological clocks or our social systems that needed fixing. How could technology solve pregnancy if it was our social and economic systems that had failed us? In the end, I wondered how far might we be willing to go in pursuit of false promises before demanding a change. <laughs>